Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed last week's episode with me traveling down from Vegas over to Hawaii. Uh, currently, I'm still in San Diego. I've got a ton of updates to get to you guys. There's a lot happening today alone, but uh, this week in general. So yeah, we're gonna finish our time up in Hawaii and uh, then fly back to Vegas and continue exploring with the van. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Up to this point, I've traveled the world and seen 33 amazing countries. I've been to places I thought I'd only dream about. Van life will take up a big part of my time, but this doesn't mean that these international trips will be put to a halt. This YouTube channel is about my life from now on, including all of the van life adventures as well as my international endeavors. Get ready to come explore more of Hawaii with me. We are at Makawao uh, Forest Reserve. It's raining, but that doesn't stop us. So we're just gonna go explore, see if we can get anything. Uh, I got some products with me that I can shoot, but we're just kind of going with the flow of things. So yeah, we got a big um, storm that's in right now. That's why we weren't able to cross it to the last bridge, or not bridge, the last waterfall last or yesterday. So we're just trying to make do with the weather as we can. Yeah. So it's kind of weird. This place doesn't really seem like it's Hawaii. Alex and I were talking about how it was almost uh, kind of New England-esque as we were driving up, just with a little bit of tropic feel to it. Uh, after visiting most of the Hawaiian Islands, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting to see this type of forest. I haven't really seen this in Hawaii before, so it's just, uh, it's like I'm back in either New England or I don't know, the Pacific Northwest has just got that moody feeling to it. Obviously the trees are different, like this is a eucalyptus. Right here is a rainbow eucalyptus. Um, I don't know all the other vegetation. I know there's sumac and a bunch of different ferns, but it's pretty weird to see. Got a few decisions going through uh, about where I want to take next steps for my life so been really extremely stressed out the past uh, week um, not as relaxing as I thought a trip to Hawaii would be but that's totally fine but yeah uh, been overthinking everything over analyzing everything and just kind of stuck in my brain so getting outside has always been the best answer for me, getting outside or working out. So, might be rainy, but it's good for the soul. Yeah. So we have somebody, really weird vibes, um, got kind of guy just following us. So we're wondering what's going on because he doesn't have anything with him. And the way he's walking is kind of creepy. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Never have dealt with this in Oahu. So it's interesting, it's interesting, but maybe I can, Try to show you guys if, on a straightaway. I'll put you up uh, over my shoulder.
I don't know if you can see him, but he's behind us. Makes this mood with all the mist and fog a little, a little extra spooky. But we'll be all right. So that guy just walked by us and, oh, Alex is hugging a tree. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that guy walked by us and immediately I saw him, that weird vibe went away. But yeah, it was really weird. Like he came out of nowhere and uh, both me and Alex just got like that really weird feeling. Uh, kind of that, you know, when you feel like you're being watched, but like we knew it and we just didn't feel great about it. So. That was interesting. I haven't had that happen in a while, so. But yeah, yeah. we're all good. <laughs> we're gonna continue. She had to hug a tree to feel better, so I think we're all set now. Here we go. <laughs> the rain is starting to pick up, so I'm gonna head back. Um, just weird vibes in this place all around. Beautiful place. Doesn't really feel like I, I am supposed to be here. But yeah, interesting. Um, but it's been good to get outside. We're gonna head back to the truck. And I don't know what's going on next. I don't think we ever know. We just kind of go with the flow. So we will see how it goes. Fog is starting to really fill in. It's starting to get pretty intense out here. This is a bit eerie. It's like you can barely even see Alex. I wanted her to eat shit, so I started filming just in case. <laughs> the next day we finally got sun, so we decided to head out to West Side and explore out there. Driving to West Side and stopped on the side of the road because there are a ton of whales breaching out here. It's gonna be hard to see uh, with the GoPro, but they've just been coming out all over there. So I got some cool drone footage. Uh, oh, ah, yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see them. You can see a bunch of spurts coming out blows. There's one right there and they were fully breaching for a little while, but the big splash out there. Yeah, so just got some whale footage uh, and then heading to, um, Honolulu Bay, so excited. It's very, uh, very interesting exploring another island just because it's, they're all so different, so it's been good.
just pulled off on the side of the road. Alex said that there's a spot here that might be worth checking out. So I would have never guessed there's anything here, but it's a little trail. Oh, cool. Okay, so currently in the ancient forest of Honolulu. And it's just these trees. That one is has just so much personality to it. It's amazing. Wow. Distracted a little bit taking photos in the uh, ancient forest. So we're now getting to Honolulu Bay, but it looks like just missed the color of the clouds. But coming up to it now, I'll give you a little peek. Oh, I thought it was gonna be sandy. So we're gonna pause it here. Uh, this private yacht right here, um, what you're seeing is actually they just anchored there and come to find out overnight their anchor got loose and they hit shore and actually destroyed quite a bit of coral. And so currently there's this huge lawsuit going on with these guys, um, but they were finally able to get the yacht off of the coral. I'd say, I think it took about three weeks and they had started pulling it back towards Honolulu. So I'll remind you, we're on Maui right now. So they were taking it over to another island and while towing it, it started to sink. So the owner of this yacht not only now has to pay for all the damages to the coral reefs, but they also lost their yacht. So uh, gotta be careful with this kind of stuff, especially in Hawaii where these native coral species are so important to the people of Hawaii. Yeah, just missed it. That's all right. After missing sunset, we decided to head back east and meet up with some of Alex's friends on the beach to do some fire dancing. The next day, it was time for my last adventure in Maui before heading back to Las Vegas into my van. So Alex and I are on our way looking for a secret waterfall. Um, there's no location to it. There's no name to it. We're just looking around. So I'm gonna go explore a bit. And it's kind of like a pretty big secret, so I can't really give that out, but I can show you. Uh, sorry, I gotta go. I, we're almost getting hit by a car every time we get here, so.
definitely like a game trail at least. Yeah. <sighs> oh man. Yep. So that's just straight down with like a bunch of loose sediment. It's uh, every step you take, you're sliding like two feet. But I guess that's part of hidden stuff, right? We're just uh, trying to find something cool that not many people know about. So we kind of have to bushwhack a bit. You got this giant tree. So this was the river that the waterfall was on we're looking for. This waterfall in particular is not the one. We went too deep into this canyon, so we had to head back up, but it was a cool little find. So I think we went the wrong way. Um, we are completely in this valley right now. Uh, so we found a waterfall, not the one we're looking for. It's a really cool one. Yeah, you're good. We're gonna cross the river again and go back up. And then we're gonna walk this ridge, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know, really know where we're going. Um, hoping that we can figure it out. Hey, Sorry. So after all of that hiking, I know you're only seeing a little bit is a good amount. Uh, we're right back where we started. So we're just gonna go forward. We'll see how it goes. So these cows are not very happy that we're here, I think. They're just staring and one of them is like digging his hoof in a bit, but I'm gonna keep inching my way over, seeing if they'll go away like normal cows. What do you mean? Okay, so we couldn't get to the actual waterfall. I mean, we might have been able to, but it just didn't seem like it was worth climbing down this cliff. <laughs> so just droned a bit, got some really cool footage. Alex is currently droning right now. We got a pretty intense wind warning just because of these gusts, but the drones can handle it, so. Um, yeah, I will start posting about the videos now. It's a pretty epic spot. Just look. Once I started droning the first waterfall, I started to realize that there were so many new ones crashing down into the ocean just because of all the rainfall we had gotten. I don't know how many there usually are, but how many do you see here? And then I found this little waterfall just upstream from the one I've been droning and this was a photo I got from it. No. She's trying to eat the mushrooms. No. <laughs> um, so we're running up now. Uh, awesome drone session. It's a bit windy out, so I really wanted to go to this waterfall I could see, but it was a bit far um, with the wind, so. We're gonna see how far we're driving is. We're trying to catch sunset down in Kihei and we're a bit far from there too. So trying to plan this all out because of that hike down and us getting lost a bit, we spent a little bit more time here than thought, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I actually don't know when I'm leaving Maui yet, if it's tomorrow, the next day or whatever, no clue. So if I don't leave tomorrow, we could come back to the spot tomorrow. So. We're just gonna go up to the van now, or, oh, nope, um, the truck now, and uh, 
check to see if we can get an idea of how far of a drive it is to that next waterfall. And then head down to the sunset. So I was only able to get this one clip. Uh, it got so windy that my drone was struggling to fly back. Um, I almost lost it and when I landed it, my hands were shaking. It was a bit crazy, but we made it. It was all good. I got the drone back, got a couple photos in this clip, but now it is time to head out. So I hope you've enjoyed following along on my little spontaneous trip down to Hawaii. Uh, didn't really have any plans when coming down, so kind of just went with the flow of things. Uh, but it was a great trip, loved being back. And so now it's time to head back to the van and uh, we're gonna be driving down to Sedona. So I hope you've enjoyed getting a little taste of the tropical paradise of Hawaii. And as always, if you're enjoying following along on my journey, a like, comment, subscribe, and share of my video helps me out so much. Until next week.